Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to Free Tip Friday. And today, Todd and I, we're talking about practice. Practice? Practice, not, not a game. game. <laughs> practice. <laughs> so practice, all right? We see people on the range. They cannot take the range game to the golf course. Mm -hmm. It happens all the time. And I think the main reason that is, is, well, there's a lot of reasons usually, but the main thing is most people will practice like they should play, and then they play like they should practice. Meaning when they get on the range, you just hit straight out in the field, and you hit a bad shot, and what do you do? You hit a bad one. You just pick another ball, like just pick the right. balls right here, right? Pull the ball up another one, one and oops, that one's better. better. Right, right, smack it away. And then you get on the golf course, you stand up on the first hole, and you suddenly think, well, there's water on the left, and the bunker, and then there's OB to the right, and so you start putting all this pressure on yourself as far as, you know, forcing the outcome. Yeah. And it should be just the opposite, right? On the range, you should be working hard on trying to force and create an outcome. And then when you play, you let the practicing that you do just take over and just, just let it happen. Correct, yeah. I mean, we have targets on the range, right? So, um, you know, go out there and hit it, tar hit it to targets. Hit it, hit different, maybe five balls at one target, five balls at another target. Stop, you know, just uh, get, that, get that yardage and hit them at each target. And maybe practice a hole out on the range. So maybe a trouble hole that you're having. Hit the tee shot, hit the second shot. You know, hit the tee shot down there, you just imagine that fairway. You know, aim at a tree or something like that. And then you have, say you have six iron left in the green. All right, grab that six iron, hit it to that flag. You know, just keep on doing, keep on doing that so you can practice on the range in the correct way, you know? Yeah, correct, I mean, I think that's a great exercise. I know tour players that do that. Tiger, for instance, will play the first four holes before he goes out and then he'll hit the first tee shot three or four times because then he walks over to the tee and then lets it go. Correct. Your brain doesn't really know what's what's real and what's not. If you, as far as like, if you're hitting balls on the range, it really doesn't know what's on the first tee, right? You're telling yourself, you're doing that to yourself. So if you can kind of reverse that pattern and, and get put more or pressure on yourself while you practice and just try to relax more when you play, you're gonna see better out. Yeah, and it's really good to narrow your focus too on the golf course. I mean, I know, you know, sometimes I, I, I talk about narrowing your focus and I ask somebody, all right, you're on the first tee, what are you looking at, the fairway? Well, you don't wanna look at the fairway in the hole. It's, it's a big area. Narrow your focus to a tree down there. Uh, I mean, we look at Rory and the players on 18. That was probably the most pressure shot, one of the most pressure shots he's had to hit in his life. Yep. And all he did was he picked his target and he swung hard. And went on his target and wins, obviously wins, wins golf tournament. Right. So, wasn't worried about a swing, wasn't worried about him hit being failure or anything like that. He stood up, picked his target and let it rip. Yep. So you're out there, practice those holes on the range, you know, hit five balls at each target, really narrow your focus. Till next week, free tip ride.